Once upon a time, in the heart of a dense forest, there lived a fearsome old witch named Baba Yaga. She was known far and wide for her twisted hut that stood on chicken legs and for her insatiable appetite for children. Many would tremble at the mere mention of her name, for she was said to be the most wicked and cunning witch in all the land. One day, a young girl named Anya found herself lost in the depths of the forest. She wandered aimlessly, her heart pounding with fear as the shadows grew longer and the trees seemed to close in around her. Just as despair began to take hold, she stumbled upon Baba Yaga's hut, standing ominously amidst the trees. Anya's first instinct was to flee, but her weary legs refused to move. With no other options left, she summoned all her courage and knocked on the creaky door. To her surprise, Baba Yaga answered with a crook's smile. Well, well, what do we have here? She cackled, eyeing Anya with curiosity. Anya nodded, her voice barely a whisper. I, I'm lost, ma'am. Can you please help me find my way home? Baba Yaga's eyes gleamed with mischief as she invited Anya inside. Come in, child. I'll help you find your way home. But first, you must do something for me. Anya hesitated, but the thought of finding her way back home gave her the courage to agree. Baba Yaga handed her a small wooden spoon and pointed to a large cauldron bubbling over the fire. Stir this soup for me, dear, she commanded. But be warned, if you spill even a drop, you'll become my next meal. Anya trembled as she took the spoon, afraid of what might happen if she made a mistake. With shaky hands, she began to stir the soup, careful not to let it spill over the sides. As the hours passed, Anya grew wary, her arms aching from the constant stirring. But she dared not stop, for Baba Yaga's watchful eyes never left her. Finally, just as Anya feared she could stir no longer, well done, child, she said with a wicked grin. You have earned your freedom. Now, Anya followed Baba Yaga through the winding forest paths, her heart filled with relief. But as they approached the edge of the forest, she couldn't help but feel a pang of guilt. Thank you for helping me, Baba Yaga, she said softly. But why did you agree to guide me home? I thought you only cared about yourself. Baba Yaga paused, her eyes softening for a moment. Perhaps I am not as wicked as they say, she replied cryptically. Or perhaps even the darkest hearts are capable of kindness. With that, Baba Yaga disappeared into the depths of the forest, leaving Anya to ponder her words. And as she made her way back home, she realized that sometimes even the most unlikely of allies can show us the true meaning of compassion. From that day forth, Anya never judged a book by its cover for she knew that within even the darkest souls, a glimmer of light could be found.